Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the idea of accounting ledgers. So first up, what is a ledger or the collection of ledgers? Um, so this is the third step of the accounting cycle. Um, the first step being that you analyze economic transactions. The second step being that you record those transactions using journal entries. Now we're going to proceed to do what's called posting the journal entries to the ledgers. And so um, the when we there's two words you'll hear. You, you'll hear people talk about the ledger, and you'll hear people talk about the ledgers, plural. So what's the difference here? Well, there, there are the individual accounts and the collection of activity that occurs in each of those accounts. Those are the ledgers for those particular accounts. So the cash account will have a ledger, the um, sales revenue account will have a ledger, and so forth. Um, then there is the collection of all of those ledgers into what's known as just the ledger or the general ledger, as you see me call it down here. And so when you take all the individual account ledgers and you compile them together, you create the ledger. It's the same idea as uh, with journal entries. You have all of the journal entries, you collect them into the journal. All right, so same, same concept. All right, now, another question that tends to come up is when you're dealing with a ledger, because, because inside the ledger are, are all the individual account ledgers, right? And the question is, what accounts do you use? And you'll notice when you look at the financial statements of different companies that some companies might call their cash cash. Some companies might call it cash and cash equivalents, right? Um, some companies might call their inventory inventory. Some companies might call their inventory merchandise. And so um, every company might have slightly different terminology that it uses for its accounts. How do you know which one to use? Well, within every company, there should be what's known as the chart of accounts, also known as a listing of accounts. And um, this will essentially tell you, hey, here are the accounts we use in this company. And what I've provided to you down here, believe it or not, is um, in introductory level accounting courses, these are kind of the most common accounts you tend to see used as examples throughout introductory accounting courses. So this is just a good kind of reference. All right, now let's talk posting. So, so I said the ledger is, is the collection of, of all of the individual account ledgers, and those account ledgers have the activity for a particular account in it. Now, how do you get the activity for, say, cash into the cash ledger. Well, that process is known as posting. And this is where we transfer the activity from a journal entry to the accounts that were affected by that journal entry. So notice here, from our general journal, we have two journal entries, one on February 10th, one on February 12th. If we look at what's going on here, we can see, in this case, debit cash, credit common stock. Well, if you know your debit and credit rules, you know that this means cash up, stock up. So what we're saying here is we must have issued stock and we got cash from investors for that stock. On February 12th, you see debit vehicle credit cash. Again, knowing your debit and credit rules, since these are both assets, that means the vehicle is going up, cash is going down. So we bought a vehicle and we paid cash for it. So that's what's happened in these two journal entries. And when we post those journal entries to their ledgers, well, all we're doing is we're taking it one line at a time. So we have cash, 100,000 debit on February 10th, and boom, we drop it right there. This is the cash ledger, February 10th. We describe what's going on. We issued stock, debit of 100,000, and we're going to keep a running balance over on the side so we know how much is in the account. We take the next line, common stock, credit of 100,000, again, on February 10th. So that's going to come to our common stock ledger, February 10th, description, we issued stock, and we have a credit of 100,000 for a balance of 100,000. Same thing applies to the next two, February 12th, we have the debit to the vehicle, which is right here in the vehicle ledger. We also have the credit to cash, which is right here in the cash ledger. And of course, your running balances will update accordingly as you go. In the case of cash, we had a debit for 100,000, then we had a credit for 25,000, which reduces your cash Therefore, the running balance is 75,000. This concept of transferring the general ledger information, I mean, the, the journal entry information into the ledgers is called posting the transactions. 
Now, some students might be asking, well, what about the T accounts? When you first learn debits and credits, you tend to learn it in terms of the left side, the right side. And that's illustrated in the context of a T account, which represents the activity in a particular account, where all the debits to the account appear on the left of the T, all the credits appear on the right of the T. The T account is the visual representation of the ledger. They look different because one's visual, one's a spreadsheet. But the T account and the ledger are one and the same. And if you don't believe me, let me get my red pen so it stands out here. Take a look at this cash ledger. So here I'm going to put my put the top of my T where my account title is on top. And I'm going to drop down a line right here and take a look. There is our T account for cash with debits on the left of the T, credits on the right of the T. And the only thing that's different, as you see in the example down below, is whereas in a spreadsheet format, you're typically tracking the running balance on the right, in a T account format, you're just going to total up the end balance at the bottom. But T accounts, ledgers, they're one and the same, just two different representations. T account being more visual, ledger being more representative of the underlying database that the accounting information system is actually tracking information in. All right, that is it for accounting ledgers. Hope you found this interesting, and I hope you join me for another video.